All right, another common way that people get knee bars is from bottom half guard. And so I'm just gonna show you guys uh, a nice way of being able to set up that knee bar from like a half guard shell and then show you two relative defenses for that position. So, we're in half guard. I cannot do this from a real deep half guard. I need a half guard shell, so we're looking at having our knee frame into our opponent's shoulder, my elbow inside my knee frame in the same shoulder, hand to his cross shoulder, frame at the bicep or the wrist. This foot's on the hip. This is here. Uh, I recommend watching the six layers of half guard with my instructor Rob Bernacki and Stefan Kesting on Stefan Kesting's uh, channel. Goes over this. I need a lot of range here, so I'm going to be able to have space to work. What I'm going to look to do is bring my arm underneath my opponent's arm here. And so an easy way of doing this is we call it a flipper kick. I'm going to take my shin. I'm going to kick Kevin in the ribs just to offset him. Kind of like a scissor sweep, but I'm not expecting to sweep him from here. This creates a vulnerability in the structure. So now I'm going to be able to bring my arm underneath, just swimming it in here. This arm can still be checking. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start bringing myself underneath. This arm is going to reach under his leg. And the most important part is my shin is going to stay up high with my knee and I'm going to cut it into his armpit to replace this frame from here like this. Notice how I'm straight from my shoulder and head all the way to my hips. I'm not like this. I'm not with my hips on the ground. I'm just going to get smashed. You see Craig Jones do this attack a lot. He's very good at it. Here, I'm bringing myself up. So if Kevin tries to drive into me right now, it's very difficult. This arm is going to reach over to the outside of his foot, grabbing up at the big toe joint, and I'm going to bend his knee. As he starts to turn here, I'm going to bring this leg up, and this leg is going to swim out to turn him all the way over to here, so that then I can go immediately into attacking the knee bars we talked about. Let's go. This direction. So I create a vulnerability in this alignment for a moment. I circle this in, I start bringing myself underneath so I have a frame here for my shoulders through to my elbow, under hooking, I'm going to mobilize my hips lifting them and filling the space with my shin up at his armpit so I can access his spine as a lever to shift to center of gravity. Right now his leg is heavy, very difficult for me to move, but if I push up into his armpit, this leg becomes light. I can absolutely just work on attacking the uh, knee bar from here. I'm going to triangle my leg so this leg inside is going to go all the way over, cross behind my calf. And I'll look to start trying to finish it from straight up from here, but he's going to keep rolling through. From here I switch it to the strong side so that my head is here, controlling the rotation of his foot. And I finish the knee bar. That lever access of the spine here, guys, is critical. If I try and push Kevin over right here at his hips, there's nothing. This is where his center of gravity, center of mass is located, basically, and he's very strong here. But if I push up at the armpit now, I can access the spine as a lever and shift his center of gravity. So, here, as I'm in this position, pushing up as high as I can, grabbing to the outside of the foot, so let's just turn. I need to try and create a bend in his leg to rotate him. And so to do that, I'm grabbing up like this. I'm controlling his knee here at my center line. And I'm grabbing him here to access his leg as a ratchet and bend it like this. This is great for heel hooks as well. So here, rotating him over, this is what's going to also make him rotate. If I do this, he has to keep turning with it. And I pull him into the knee bar. So just a quick video showing you guys how commonly people set this thing up, the knee bar from the half guard. And then the next two videos, we'll go over how to defend it.